What's up, guys? Okay, so <laughs> Spirit was like, no, you're not gonna film a bunch of readings and then take forever to edit them and not get them out. We want these messages out today. Today, 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 today. I'm not very good with the whole getting it out right now thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so they made me stop after that abundance reading, go into the editing uh, application that I'm using, and then learn how to use it really quick edit that video, upload it to YouTube, and then I was told I could do another reading. Like, really? Like, y'all are really... <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna ask my guides, my galactic guardians, my angels, my archangels, my ancestors, excuse me, please help me to set my ego aside so that I can give the collective the message that is for their highest good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're gonna start with the sacred rebels. There is no rhyme or reason to what's happening right now. I have no control over what cards are coming out. I'm just a conduit for whatever the hell they want to tell you guys. So here we are. Give us the messages they need to hear, please. Inner trust. Okay. Inner trust. There's a lack of inner trust. There's a need to go within. What is already with you? Um, you're seeking things outside of yourself that you already carry within. It's a requirement of you to come into that part of yourself. And you're not going to be able to do that from where you're at. Because you're going against the grain right now. Instead of doing what you feel. And that's what they're asking you to focus on what it is that you feel rather than what you think you're supposed to be doing because right now you're going against the grain and everything that you're seeking is already within you and I see these butterflies as the next step to your growth that next level you're confused because you're not listening to what you feel you don't know what you feel Whoever this this reading is for, you have no idea what you feel because you're lacking that inner trust. You can't tell if what you feel is something that someone else has conditioned you to feel or if that's truly what you feel. That's a really dangerous place to be. You're receiving messages from your guides. Uh, dream state, astral projection, uh, astral plane, excuse me, not projection, not yet. There's an ability to astral project. Um, 27, 2, there's 17, 4, 9, and 27. 7 and 2 is 9, 9 and 9. 17 is 8. 8 is the um, energy of abundance of creation prosperity you need to follow what you know to be true to yourself you're not what is being told to you um, there's a need to look away from what you've been seeing what you've been focused on all of these cards these last two cards they have their eyes closed and they're turned away they are not paying attention to anything Wow, and this card in particular looks like someone that I know, well not know really, but like this, I think I know exactly who this energy is for. Interesting that you're watching, whatever, no worries, no shade, hope you get the message that you need. Um, there's a need to follow your own rhythm, stop looking outside of yourself because you have a legacy within you that you need to bring out. You have ancestral healing abilities, you have uh, knowing within not just self, but within others, you're very intuitive and you're not tapping into that because you don't know what you feel. You're unable to tap into it. And this legacy that's trying to be passed through you, like in the three dimensional world, things are passed to you, right? Physically, this is an energy that they cannot pass through you until you come into an understanding of self. Wow. It's insane how I'm actually seeing someone's face in these cards. I've never seen specific people in these cards before. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, collaborative dreaming happening with you. There's your, your ancestors are reaching out to you in your dreams. You are receiving 
dream you're receiving messages from your ancestors in your dreams okay this is the one they want me to read all right so all of these cards usually have uh, very in-depth messages one of my higher frequency decks. It's by Alana Fairchild. Um, like I said, I was just kind of going with whatever they wanted me to explain. Uh, this is what I'm getting from these cards. Each one of these cards has a specific uh, meaning in for the book, but this was the card that they wanted me to read for you guys. So it's after the storm. All right. So there is a, there is something that you're currently doing that it, you feel is what you need to do but it's not what you're supposed to be doing it has you feeling like you're going against the flow and it's probably very very hard for you to continue it because it's against the flow of things you're receiving messages that need your um, intuitive senses okay this isn't an awareness in the three-dimensional this is an awareness in the five dimensional and your higher self and the ability to come into the 5d by awareness of what it is you feel whoa okay so the card that you got was after the storm all right there's a thunderstorm about it is either out of your way or just passing through now don't make a thunderstorm mean more than it is though you don't have to fear it. You might even feel excitement about it. After all, a thunderstorm is just nature's way of gathering energy together that needs to be released, okay? With the release of tension, relief, and freedom soon follow, often with a fresh perspective and, and perhaps a gift of promising hopeful vision for your future. Perhaps the particular storm building within you or around you is causing you to quake in your boots. It might be a storm of building emotions, threatening to erupt or already exploding. Okay, I'm hearing... Um, separation has have been separated ending of something you may have um left a job a place of living or even another person and there's a the, the feeling is an inability to let go the the energy that i'm feeling is um torn beyond what you just know to be right for you and what you actually feel is right for you and that's why this what you feel card is coming up is because you're holding on to things that no longer serve you <laughs> that's why it doesn't feel good that is why it doesn't feel good i'm not laughing at you but that's why it doesn't feel good okay it doesn't serve you anymore that's your higher self going hi tapping you on the shoulder this doesn't feel good because it doesn't belong here it's like being in the freaking desert, right? Like the Sahara Desert and a bunch of ice just drops in the middle and there's like a chunk of snow. It doesn't belong there. <laughs> so it doesn't belong there, man. All right. There is in life and in the creative process a need to allow for wild storms. The same way that we have the uh, seasons that come through and they clear things. The season of winter isn't always here. The season of winter is just here to clear away the dead so that spring can come in. Same thing. It's like a snake shedding its skin, I'm hearing. Without this building and releasing of energy, we would suffer from boredom and stagnancy. You may prefer the excitement of the storm or the fresh, open feeling that accompanies its clearing. You may find it conf confronting to be faced with the power of something in which you can only participate rather than control. Either way, the storm wisdom offers you the gift of bringing things to a head and clearing them away so that the energy can be freed from a pattern that has had its day and is ready to become something new so that no longer serves you. Okay, I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'm not. I'm being told I don't need to. This is the, the, the gist of it, okay? And totally random. Okay, I usually don't get this. Who in here likes Harry Potter, though? I usually don't get this for this card, right? This is screaming Harry Potter to me, like uh, the Quidditch game, right? Where they got caught, they got to catch the golden snitch, and like the uh, the owl, right? Hedwig, Hedwig was his name. I grew up with Harry Potter. Don't you dare judge me. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I'm getting Hedwig and Harry Potter. Very weird. Very, very, very weird. Like Harry Potter is something that, as a 30 year old woman, I have outgrown, right? But I started reading the books when I was 13. So it's like something that you're holding on to is something that you have definitely outgrown. It's been a part of who you are for a very long time.